Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play A Plague Tale Innocence. We are starting Chapter 7, The Path Before Us. Tell me. After having been rescued by Melly. What the hell are you doing with the Inquisition after you? What's so special about the little guy? It's complicated. And what about your brother? Will he be alright? He'll catch up with us. He really saved our lives. It was incredible. Hey, don't get all lovey-dovey. He'll break your poor little heart. Um, I, uh, no! Hey, I'm in! Yeah, we're going to use it to cross. What? Ah, yeah, the water wheel. Oh, what are those birds? Ducks. Oh, like the ones we eat? Yes, and they eat frogs. That's life. Not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, come on, it's not a good idea to stay here. My favorite thing about a Sobo, always, uh, this game's like studio. That. He hasn't seen much of the world. This isn't the best moment to start. First one to the middle way, hey, <laughs> My favorite thing about them is they used to make a lot of licensed tie-in games. I think I mentioned that they did a lot of Pixar stuff, like Toy Story games, uh, Ratatouille. Ironically, but what I love is that they don't treat it like, oh, those were just some throwaway games we did for the paycheck. Oh, a big wheel. It's for like they the wheat. treat them like forgettable licensed games until until they could strike out on their own. Uh, I feel like a lot of devs who have like a history with licensed family friendly stuff are like that. They're like, they course? treat them like paycheck games, it. which a lot of the How? times yes. you could see in the quality, they kind of are. And, you know, sometimes that's a constraint of just budget, but a lot of the times it feels like they're legitimately being treated like they matter less. Amicia, you're not leaving without me, are you? I'm coming, Hugo. I'm just trying to find a way to get you across. You sound like Arthur. It's definitely not the case for Sobo. You hear them talk about those games, and it's really clear that they loved working on them, and they loved what they put out. They really put a lot of soul into them. But the thing is, they also learned a lot while making those too. The creative director of this game called those Pixar games uh, the best mentor they could have hoped for. Because it taught them how to be creative while adhering to pretty tight constraints and iterate quickly without sacrificing quality. And they even took themes from them, too. Like, the innocence part of the title of A Plague Tale Innocence is them playing with that theme that was so prevalent in all of the really saccharine, family-friendly stuff. It's a little twist, a, a wrinkle on that thematic linchpin of innocence. This one is more about growing up in circumstances that profoundly challenge childhood innocence kind of ripping that away and seeing how characters who have to deal with this kind of stress Go develop. Through here. But on. it's still a play on a theme no. All right, come on. It's pretty here. that was prevalent in their work for a long time. Duck. Is that where Luke oh. is? I hope so. I doubt this castle is going to look like much. <laughs> Why? This used to be a village. But it was reduced to rubble in just one night, years ago. Some say there's a curse around these parts. Amicia? She's joking, Hugo. Of course I am. Since when do I say anything true, eh? Oh, shut up, Melee. People live here, then? Yes. But they left. Where did they go? Somewhere else. A bit like us. Oh. Oh my god. The yeah, Aki Duck. Hawthorn, I think. Nobody likes it because of the thorns. But it's good for the heart. Well, aren't you a fount of knowledge? Mommy taught me. You can teach me then. And will you teach me how to use the sling? It's a deal. I fucking would die for Hugo. That had to have been an ad lib from the voice actor too. A thorny bush used to mark out borders of gardens and properties. Hawthorns have become a symbol of cautious hope. It's the subject of uh, many legends, the most prestigious of which depicts it as Christ's crown of thorns. When ingested as an infusion, it regulates the heartbeat and... Oh, whoops. Combat shortness of breath. I was reading from the wrong line for a second. I'm wondering why that didn't make sense. 
But yeah, the Aki Duck had to been had to have been one of the kids' ad libs because kids do that all the time, and it's so precious. What are you up to? Just a detour. My grandmother used to tell me stories about uh, I think her sister growing up. Uh, when they were real young, she couldn't say scissors, so she called them chewies. What are you doing? Come here. Oh. Uh, what's wrong with them? We're nearly there. <laughs> Many. Uh, wait. Hugo? Hugo, look at me. Is it starting again? Your head. It's like... Somebody's going inside. My legs... My legs are shaking. Don't say he's been bitten. It's not the bite. It's <gasps> something in his blood since he was little. I'll have to carry him. Climb on my back if you can. Come on. Sorry. We're gonna OD this boy on medicinal piggybacks. It's in his blood. What about you? I'm fine. Lucas is trying to slow the effects down. That's also why we're going to the chateau. Amicia. I'm scared. Of what, Hugo? What's in my head? Don't worry. We're all scared of what's in our heads. Here we are. You'll be able to rest. At last. Help me lift this. I'm coming. Hugo, can you climb down, please? That line, the we're all scared of what's in our heads, makes this a really apt, uh... LP series for me to have talked so much about mental illness. Uh, I'll probably do some more is too. This your house? It's a hideout, lad. It's meant for hiding out, not banquets with lords and ladies. Don't touch that. It's my brother's. That's worth a lot, that is. How long have you been living like this? Like ruffians and beggars, you mean? Family tradition. Our dad was a piece of rubbish. Tried to beat us one time too many, so we skedaddled. But you, you're almost royalty. Royalty? Huh, <laughs> monsieur? What does huh mean? I'm cold. Can't you see? Look at us. We've lost everything. What do you mean? Who's going to pay us then? What are you talking about? Your mate's Lucas. He said you're rich. Just I... forget it, all right? Take Arthur's straw mattress, and when he finally gets here, we'll have a proper discussion. So, see anything? No, nothing there. Hey, men! This way! I need some help! Where does that go? Outside. Yes, but where? Just trust me. And your brother? He should have been here by now. Sorry. Don't give up on him just yet. We have to go to the Aki Duck. <laughs> Shit. Stay down. He has a helmet. Oh, Devorantis. What? Devorantis. Salt pizza and alcohol. It burns your face and melts steel. No one can keep their helmet on with that. Get some ready. All right. Melly's read from the Anarchist Cookbook, too. Go on. Aim for the helmet. To be fair, I don't remember if that was in it. That just seems like the kind of thing that you would find in there. Hit him on the head with a rock. Go on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Serves him right. It's noisy. Try to be a bit more enthusiastic, will you? Hey, we know what this means. Shit. Look. There's one with a helmet. You know what to do. Yes. If I find her, any idea where the whetstones are? In one of the boxes. But it's an unholy So I think there is a way through. Fuck. There's a way through here without killing both of them. But. 
I have not been able to pull it off consistently, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to stack a few more bodies. This one, using our new tool. And now our weapon wheel is starting to get, or I guess our tool wheel. Yeah, no, that's not close enough. So what we could do, I guess, if we had a pot left, which, did that get reset after, hmm, after the chapter transition? I felt like we came into this chapter with a pot. No, we smashed it. Failing to distract the archer. You have the sling, so you go first. Hugo, you... Uh, keep a lookout. And stay quiet. Alright. Understood. So even though she just emphasized us having the sling, we are not really going to use it. Uh, we're definitely going to get through here without killing anyone. Or hopefully without even raising an alarm. It's weird how few stealth games I've played on this channel. And now two of them essentially back to back. This one's not a complete stealth game, but it has stealth as one of its Let's check it out. Christ. Core components. I don't think I'm quite getting away with this bullshit that I have pulled. Especially not with this dude. Oh, uh oh. Thought I was gonna get speared, but no. So that one went wrong when I took the wrong path and did not adjust my timing for the patrol. This is another one of those where you have a couple of different avenues you can go down. And it really just comes down to comfort. I don't think either the left, right, or middle path are any easier or harder than one another. But I generally like to go down the middle here. This should work. Yeah. Uh, sometimes one of those two guards will turn around a little bit and get curious, but not spot me. This one I should be able to slip by nice and easy. Good. We stick to the left side of that tree just to be safe. And now we just have to wait for him to turn around to go back to his first spot. Then we really get free reign of this whole zone. I've never seen an explosion like it. My ears are still ringing. We got the one who did it, though. A young thief who was helping the Darunes. Oh, yeah, this dude. He should think himself lucky. Hmm. If he didn't have information about the boy, he'd be little... No, 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 I'm not going to risk that. Shit, shit, shit. Um, I do have a pot. Good. We're going to take advantage of that. Because the other guy is not going to turn around. He is his back to us already. We just need to get this crazy. guy to look away. Then we can beeline for that next tall grass. Now we just have this one more guard who's already patrolling past us. And with a little luck, he's not going to immediately about face. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's always a side entrance. Ah. Let's get out of here. Come on. Go ahead. So kind of you, Your Highness. Go on, get moving. What are you going to do to me? Oh, that's so beautiful looking. Nice contrast of colors. The cart should be arriving soon with fresh supplies. They'll take you to the Inquisition Bastion in town. Amicia. Do you have any Devarantis left? No, we'll make some. Quick! And they're sure to furnish you with enough to make that so you can get past this part. I'm so glad to see you again. Hey, 
You look well? Yes, I was in a cage. Then there was a huge explosion. Boom! And then we went to Mary's house. She said lots of bad words. I heard that. And what about you, Lucas? How are you? Uh, can we talk while we run? Or we can sit down with some wine and some roast chicken and wait for them to come and kill us. What do you reckon? You're right. Let's get going. The chateau shouldn't be far now. Let's go. Come on. It's not far to the aqueduct. Yeah, Aki Duck. Like Find that Aki Duck. Times. You don't say. You forgot to tell us about the Inquisition. You wouldn't have accepted the deal. The one where your friends are rich. But we'll sort it out. And tell my brother that. What's all this? An accident? An Inquisition cart. The rats. There must be things we can salvage from inside. I don't see how we can get past. Oh, Amisha, I have something for you. It's a byproduct of Ignifer, Luminosa. You throw it into a pile of rats and... Anyway, you'll see. Here, take it. Salt beta, alcohol and leather. Mix them together. All right. This is another really expensive one, like the Somnus. Somnum? Somnus. My eyes sting. <sighs> Luke has completely destroyed full of our chemical material. Makes them. The Inquisition. They couldn't have got as far as the Macula without reading their chemical So writings. now we can not just don't know what they're up to. But ignite is, fires? We can create them. <sighs> not bad. Not bad at all. We have essentially uh, quick burning Molotovs. Yeah! Anyway, they're going to find out at last. Climb up. I'll help you. Yes. Let's go up the yucky duck. Oh Should my go. god. It's aqueduct. Oh. Aqueduct. Aqueduct. Nelly, where's your brother? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, all, all right. Is this... I don't... Is this the part where Millie has to open something up for us? Because it looked like a ladder. But I did not... Hmm? Unless... Yep. Nope. I'm dumb. Dig up, stupid. Well spotted. Did you see Come this girl on, just butt there. in front of us Come in line? On. Dirty, dirty line cutter. Is that it? There's nothing here. Lucas, I... Don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. No, no, no. Laurentius was smarter than that. It's an alchemist's trick. Gold is born from lead. The door shall only reveal itself to the one who has the key. Something like that. Mm. I prefer use your eyes before using your mouth. Who's going first? No. Uh, Amicia? Come on then. We've come this far. That's my girl. Oh, wow! We are in the Aki Duck. Not bad. Is that the sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. Well You're done. on the right track. So I think this is going to be our first puzzle where we're making use a of. A boat that's propelled by a rope. You pull it by hand. Can you do it, Melly? Lucas. Three different party members okay. at once. Yes, yes. Well, I guess we're ordering two of them and bringing Hugo with us onto the boat. Must be very cool. But we'll get some more. Uh, we have actually one really, really good, very elaborate puzzle coming up that involves using pretty much everyone. Uh, along with a large chunk of level. So we're having them hold it. Hugo, Hugo yes, and Hugo I will enter the boat. They can swim. And then we'll send it back across Hold for them. Tight. 
There you go. Whoa. I can't see any fish. Oh, that's because of the monster. What? A monster? Of course. The underground lakes are magical. Huge, ancient monsters hide in their depths. And watch out, they're very hungry. No, they're not. And if there were monsters, we'd see some big bubbles. <laughs> you got me. Mummy used to say that monsters are just those things... those things too. Just those things to which we have never given a name. She told me that too. I would quite like to see a monster, actually. Okay, now we just have right. to send it back this across. Is how we get off. Oh, it was too quick. I know, but it's someone else's turn now. Stay here. All right. There are no monsters here, but there might be a whale. <laughs> a whale is big, you know. Yes, but a little one. Why not? A shy whale that doesn't want to show itself. It's shy because it's small. But I'm sure it's pretty. Over to you! We're coming! I wish there was a look prompt here so you could better see them when they're in the boat. It's a little bit hard to tell, but they also do say something when they're in. and you got my die and I was scared. I forget it. It's all behind us now. But anything that takes my fancy at the castle is mine, all right? Fair enough. What were you saying? Things for grown-up ears. All right, let's keep going. Ah, closed. Not for long. Make some room. I, I really don't like the lockpicking stuff. It's one of those mechanics that really just feels it's like a open. waste of time. And I get that the purpose is less like to give you a little mechanical Ugh. challenge or an observational challenge. Of course. I hadn't missed them a bit. What is this place anyway? It's... No, it can't be. It's just to reinforce an aspect of her character. Her being a thief, but eh, it still feels like a little bit of a time waster that she doesn't just do it automatically, I guess, or that it's even there in the first place. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.